7.45 in Trinidad and Tobago. Yes, indeed, it is World Steel Pan Day. We've already heard from Dr. Ray Hallman uh, in the first hour of our show because steel pan music is enjoyed internationally in just about every genre. Uh, festivals are held in its honor. It's the only instrument, uh, percussion instrument, invented in the 21st century. And today, we observe World Steel Pan Day. It's, uh, it's an idea of the World Steel Pan Thrust of Trinidad and Tobago with the support of uh, Pan Trinbago. There's the proclamation. Uh, on behalf of the mayor of Port of Spain. There's a virtual event happening today from 7 p.m. on uh, Facebook. And to give us more information, we're joined by Bertel Gittens, who is the chairman of the World Steel Pan Thrust of Trinidad and Tobago. Mr. Gittens, very good morning to you. Thanks for joining us. Very good morning, Fazir, and happy World Steel Pan Day. Indeed. And by the way, if you want to get more information, you can go to page 17 of the Express today. You can get a lot more information in the story from Michael Mondesi. So, Tell us, before we talk about the idea behind it, how it came about, yeah. just, just to let everybody know, what is actually going to be happening today to mark World Steel Pan Day? All right. Um, we, we have a tight program at f from um, s 7. We have a formal, um, formal presentation. Uh, we're going to be hearing um, um, speeches by his, 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 um, uh, the Honourable um, Minister, Randall Mitchell, uh, the Deputy Mayor, uh, his worship, um, Mr. Murray, yep. and, um, and Dr. Kim Johnson. Right. Right. And then we're going to go into a show, um, uh, a coalition and the NSSO. Um, we're going to start it off and we're going to have an a, 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 a interview with Mr. S Leon Smooth Edwards, right, from the Trinidad All Stars, and Mr. Mark Lohan with his panotation. And, and Selvin Tarudat, right? So that should take us an hour and a half. Right, and everything starts at 7 o'clock. Yeah, at 7 um, o'clock on the World Steel Pan Thrust of Trinidad and Tobago, right, Facebook page. Okay, so uh, so it's, there's not going to be a live audience for the event, or is it going to be all online? No, it's going to be all, uh, all online. All right, now, yeah. now tell us about w what brought this about, uh, because you are one of the prime movers, if not the prime mover, yeah. for this declaration of World Steel Pan Day via uh, the World Steel Pan Thrust yeah. of Trinidad and Tobago. What, what would have brought this about? All right, well, we, uh, four years ago, uh, we, we, uh, the idea came to my mind and I got together with Mr. Simeon Saniford and Mr. Le uh, Lenny Lira, right, at the Shazando Pan Tent and we spoke about it. And two months after that, about two months after that, I took it to the president of Pan Trinbago, Mrs. Beverly Ramsey Moore, and she, la she loved the idea. And ever since we have been working together to see this World Steel Pan Day come about. And yeah. what are you hoping comes out of it? Beyond the recognition, the proclamation, beyond the event that's happening from 7 o'clock this evening, what would you like to see happen? Because listening to Dr. Hallman, he kind of mentioned a lot of the things that I'm sure many people will agree with, that yeah. it is the national instrument. It hasn't been formally proclaimed by Parliament, but you still get the idea that we haven't really, as a nation, embraced the steel yeah. pan as our own. Yeah, yeah. And, and that is our fault. Eh? That is the citizenry fault. Eh? I mean, we, we, we don't give it the attention that it's supposed to be given, right? Um, I am hoping that by documenting all these icons, including Dr. Ray, you know, it would be something there so that anybody and, and hopefully the youngsters could go to and learn a lot from because, you know, documentation is a, a problem. Exactly, in, 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 exactly. In, we, we don't teach it in schools, right? As a matter of fact, I am hope that we start, we start teaching it, right? But it's basically documentation and the show is an added feature, you know, to, to bring the World Steel Pan Day alive. And, and Tell us a bit about the World Steel Pan Thrust, uh, that, that organization that, that, uh, that you have founded. Uh, and as we mentioned, the, the concert is going to be on Facebook uh, from 7 o'clock uh, this evening. Tell us about the Steel Pan Thrust. Well, the Steel Pan Trust, we had to, we had to, 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 um, to legalize uh, some entity when we got the idea, right? Um, all the legal um, practitioners told us, listen, for this to go anywhere, we have to legalize, legalize it. So we formed an NGO. World Steel Pan Trust of Trinidad and Tobago, right? So that we could take it to Pan Trinbago and take it to the sponsors and take it to take it to the world, right? Because nobody don't want to, to listen to, to anybody who not formally legalized. Sure, you know? and, 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 and because it continues to be a challenge, 
what would you like to see uh, as you talk about in the schools the history of the steel yeah. fan being taught uh, the, the uh, greater availability of the instrument itself because that's another point that dr holman was making yeah. about the quality yeah. of the pans that, that, that are now available uh, and and the concern is uh, and I, I'm, I'm sure mr gittins you would have heard this concern before if you haven't reflected it yourself is that we, while we may be the founders, the originators, the creators yeah. of the steel pan, we seem to be losing it yeah. to other countries who've gone far ahead as far as innovation, as far as availability, yeah. as far as the knowledge base for playing the steel pan. Yeah. How, how do you see that first situation? The, the, the first thing to my mind that needs to be done is that we need to proclaim the pan as, uh, uh, as the national instrument of Trinidad. You know, I couldn't believe that when I heard that. That, that, that even though it was announced by the Prime Minister yeah. then, 30 years ago, yeah. up to now, it has not been formally proclaimed yeah. as the national yeah. instrument of Trinidad and Tobago. Be why, why because the people with the political ears not listening. Right? I mean, what you see, everything would, fuzzy, everything would fall into place with the steel pan, to my mind, if we proclaim it. Because we'll take it seriously. Right, we, like, we take the national flag seriously, we take the national steel symphonies seriously, but PAN is, is not taken seriously at all because we haven't done the legal things to, 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 to put it where it's supposed to be. But obviously you would know this better than me, but why? What, what is so difficult with calling a session of parliament to declare the steel PAN as the national instrument of Trinidad and Tobago? Where's the issue there? Is it? Is it Politics, is it, you know, the pulling and tugging? What, what? Fuzzy, I haven't got the slightest idea. I, 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 to Does me it it's mean a, that, that, it's that if you declare it nas the national instrument, that suddenly uh, steel pan arrangers or, or pantry and bagel will have great access to resources and they don't want that to happen? I, I haven't got the slight. I, 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 I'm, I'm searching just like you. But the first thing we need to do is to proclaim it, right, so that it can be taken seriously, right? and it will go forward in leaps and bounds. I'm sure of that. But, but does, doesn't that, that kind of dismay you a little bit? That in the near, and I mean, forgive me for repeating the work, but when I heard it myself two weeks ago in a discussion, as I said, with Dale Antonio on 995.5, with Beverly Ramsey Moore, that it has not been formally proclaimed. It's kind of like having the, the Caribbean Court of Justice here in Trinidad and Tobago, and we don't use it. Yeah. But could, could you, uh, does, doesn't it seem bizarre that the nation that founded, that, that invented the steel pan, yeah. it calls it a national instrument without proclaiming it yeah, yeah. as a national instrument? It, it, it questions our seriousness in relation to the things that we, we invented. Right? That is a good example of how serious we are with the things that we own. Do you, you know? believe that this discussion or this, this declaration of today being World Steel Pan Day will actually move our legislators in that direction? I am hoping so. I'm hoping so. One of the things that I wish is that they, they see it. I mean, we had a, the minister make a speech, and it was splendid. We're going to see it tonight, right? And Maybe hoping like the first thing I should ask him. Well, <laughs> I, I suppose it might be inappropriate to ask an invited guest, feature speaker, minister, and thing. Connects, you know, these, you know, how these fellas thin skin. They might get vex yeah, and, yeah, and, yeah, yeah. and cause sure, problems. Sure, sure, but. Sure. But, but, but surely the minister should, touch, should, should at least in his address tonight touch on this. Well, I, I am hoping so, and, and, and I'll, I'll ask him tonight uh, too. You're, you're bold face enough to ask him? <laughs> yes, yes, why not? And, 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 in the and before we, we wrap up our discussion, we thank you for joining yeah. us in person as well for, for our dialogue this morning. Um, uh, beyond this, uh, as far as the World Steel Pan Thrust, do you have any other events planned or any more outreach or, or any more activities to promote the knowledge base on yeah. the steel pan? Well, to be quite honest, for zero, this takes us, this, this World Steel Pan Thrust um, Steel Pan Day takes us a whole year to plan. It's not as simple as, 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 as I can it imagine. Seem, I can right? imagine. So that we are caught up from, from the 13th of August, we are caught up with planning the next one. Because it takes us all through Tobago and, 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 and Trinidad and we have to find people and we have to document it and we have to videotape it. And, you know, so it is, uh, unless I have a bigger staff, 
and more money we can do more things indeed i i, I hear you on that right. well, funding and personnel is it's always yeah. a challenge but uh, mr gittins we want to thank you very much indeed for taking the time uh, so just remind everybody again the yes. concert starts at seven o'clock yeah. this evening yeah the concert starts at seven o'clock it is labeled just the two of us that song by of course, ralph, ralph mcdonald, McDonald and right and it's, it's, it, it is it is celebrating the 60 years of independence right the just the two of us is trinidad and tobago sure. and we have um a, a cool lead the NSSO, we have Leon Smoot Edwards, we have Mark Lokwan, we have Salvin Tardat, we have the Minister, uh, the Honourable Minister, we have uh, the Deputy Mayor uh, Address, and we have Dr. Kim Johnson, the future speaker. Right? So, happy World Steel Band Day, everybody. I hope you tune in. It's going to be an exciting show. And indeed, I, I hope the excitement includes the Minister explaining why it hasn't been proclaimed as yet and that they're going to do it uh, post haste in that regard. Thank you very much once Thank again you very much for, for taking the time. Let's take a quick break. And here we have a, a, an image from the Carony Bird Sanctuary that we're going to present, where it's not just the Scarlet Ibis and the Egress, but it's also the flamingos in the sanctuary as we go to the break.